what's up guys? Cast and Blast back with some more Town Hall 9 Govejo attacks uh, with bowlers. So we're looking at some base. A lot of people are like, why don't you use Stone Hobo? I don't really like three golems, guys. I, I like hogs. Um, I take out a golem to throw those Valks in because my low level heroes. And when scouting out a base, you make sure in the beginning you get the CC, you get the queen, and... You try to get some some bomb spots. Um, you know, I'm thinking bomb spots are probably here, 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 maybe here. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter because hogs stay alive pretty well now. And uh, maybe you're one of those guys who are like, I'm not an air attacker. What else is there for me? No matter what you show me about Queen Popcast, I just won't do it. You know, this is another strategy. I do it um, just to kind of mix it up you know and, and offer more and show you that with low level heroes or mid-level heroes now this uh counts the heroes are starting to go up a little bit um but you do have other options out there and you can three star using other methods so you see i create a funnel guys funnel the key to these attacks are always a funnel if your bullers or valks or anything go outside or especially your queen you are donezo. So you see, I set up a golem. I set up a golem and I break these outside buildings without breaking the inside buildings. These are what I like to call your anchor buildings because you set down your troops to aggro on them so that once that building's done, they're going to go to the next closest one. If there's no buildings here and I set these here, even though this is clean, maybe the next closest is over there and they start to walk. So Keep them anchor buildings in, guys. So you see my troops go inside. I lay down the poisons. Um, and I'm waiting to work. I like to put a heal on my first set of troops, my bowlers, my valks, um, my heroes. Keeps them going. But they're not really taking much damage now. So I'm holding on to that heal. I see just my bowlers and queen go to the right there. So I'm like, all right, I'll use a heal there because I think there might be some bombs. And I start my hog walk. I put... My giant in, and I see a bomb go off. Um, I thought maybe double bombs went off, so I'm like, oh, my hogs are going to be safe for a while. So I'm holding on the heels as they start getting up to that whiz tower. Now I throw a heel in. Um, I'm going kind of hog heavy, getting the push started, getting some of those defenses down. My hogs are under heel, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to use a heel right here. Nothing gets set off again. Um... And I'm watching those skellies kind of eat up my hogs. So I know the other bomb spot. In the beginning, I saw that bomb spot blow on the on the mid. So I'm thinking my bomb spot's on the mid right here. And uh, I just have them under heel. Even though they hit the double bombs, they didn't die first. Uh, the heel ran out of time. So... I led my hogs into the heel. I didn't think they were going to backtrack into the cannon and take so long. And the heel kind of disappeared. So don't make that mistake, guys. Uh, luckily, I still had my king there and a whiz. They cleaned it out. And yeah, it was a close call. If I hadn't, uh, <laughs> there's the savior of the game. My gobs are eating up that wall to get to the treasure there. The elixir. Um but don't lead them so much. Leading them is a good thing because you want them fully healed before they touch the bombs. And then healing as they're getting blown up and afterwards. But if you lead them too much, you're going to get that. The heal's going to dissipate as soon as the bombs blow up and uh, you lose your hogs. So a little close call, but that's a three star in the bank. Now here's a level 10 or 9.5. Uh, with some level 30 heroes and I'm using my low level heroes still guys using the same attack You see I'm creating that funnel. I'm keeping my anchor buildings in there goes my wall breakers I'm setting my troops on those anchor buildings. So afterwards they just run straight into that that cell and I did this cell because my troops would be forced out there um, I was worried about damage over here and Look at this wall. If I place a jump here, my troops, they're going to kill these by shooting over the wall. They're going to get these down and this zone where I think there might be some traps. So make sure you utilize the most amount of cells you can there. CC pulls. I start leading them 
with a uh, poison and I saw some bombs explode. So I'm already thinking in my head, one set of double bombs in the bank, guys. Oh, and they're pulling both skelly traps. That's a good thing for me because now there's not much going to eat up my hogs. So now I start my hog push. Um, I like to use, like I said, one heal on my bowlers and heroes, keep them moving. And then here comes my hogs. Um, I thought those golems would be tanking for longer, but I threw that heal where kind of my three packs of hogs were going to meet up. And then there goes a bomb. There's so much going off right there. I can't tell if my hogs are like dead or not. So I threw that next heal in. I uh, saw a couple skellies following them and the king, and I just wanted them to stay healed. Now as the hogs spread out, I see how many hogs are left. Man, that's a heck of a pack. And my bowlers and my queen. I just know it's game over right now, guys. There's no way these troops are going to stop them. I thought my queen and bullers would turn and take out those skellies um, and take out that one cell. They don't. And here's what happens. What? A fifth bomb? A fifth bomb cast? Of course. It's a down all 10. How could I forget? There's five bombs. I thought after those one bombs went off in the beginning, the second set of bombs in the middle, if I use my my heal no worries they're not gonna hit another giant bomb right wrong but I still got some troops left so I'm thinking all right it's gonna come down to the wire you might be able to get it and they walk right past that builder hut and it finishes at a 99% no no what I wouldn't have given just to save one of those archers Ugh. So it was a good run. It was a good run. It was on, you know, their number three base and I'm sitting down here in low level. So it was fun. And, and that kind of shows you the attack. You know, if you're hitting at 9.5 and this has bit me before, but you hit four bombs. Don't forget about there's probably a fifth somewhere. So keep that in mind. I hope you guys like it. I hope that provides some other options for you. Ask me questions. If you got them, make sure you're following me on Twitter and I'll see you guys next time.